all right guys we have a country to save or should i say we have a state to save we have some good 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 news coming out of california because we finally have a real conservative in the california race a conservative with some name recognition as uh conservative talk show host uh larry elder makes a late entry into california's recall race now um, if any of you guys are unfamiliar with Larry Elder, um, he's essentially been a staple in not just like the black conservative movement or whatever you want to call it, but the conservative movement in general, right? Um, his ideas, along with those of uh, Thomas Sowell, Walter Williams, etc. I think these guys have really been the cornerstone of um, converting a lot of black people to conservatism and bringing them over, right? And, and bringing them to a more um conservative slash libertarian viewpoint on um our government and our economy right and uh he's produced numerous documentaries and films and media pieces that um have really been targeted towards kind of normalizing the black republican or the black conservative and i really respect the man for what he does okay I i'm a huge 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 fan of uh his work and the things that he does and i'm so happy to see him uh deciding to run in california because um the most prominent uh republican candidate right now caitlin jenner is a train wreck <laughs> he she whatever you want to call him right uh caitlin is a train wreck and the reason why is because caitlin has been flip-flopping on issues and i think that caitlin flip-flopping on issues um really has undermined caitlin's credibility I, I think it really has and the reason why is because there are already conservatives right people like jenna uh elise and uh you know more um conservatives who, who tend to be more religious okay whom already just was not about transgenders being a part of the republican party okay they, they don't think that um that is an embodiment of conservative values so there was already this a battle between those people and people who were more uh, accepting of uh caitlin jenner's lifestyle and that's something that people have been going back and forth about and in my opinion i think caitlin jenner really dropped the ball on this because the main issue that i think a lot of people are concerned about is the trans issue right specifically when it comes to trans women competing against biological women in sports now caitlin came out hard against this issue uh, initially she said all the right things right and because of that it, it made it really hard for uh the conservatives whom are just <laughs> basically against caitlin being a part of the party period because of the whole transgender thing it, it made it really hard for them to really say anything because from a policy standpoint caitlin's on the right track okay but what happened was that Caitlyn started saying things that kind of made people question exactly where Caitlyn is actually at on these issues. I think she said something before about having not voted uh, in the 2020 election, okay? Right, like how, how are you running for uh, governor of California and you're not even voting? You're not even participating in the process in which, you know, you have numerous things on the ballot, not just political candidates but also ballot initiatives that were important to california and caitlin did not participate in that process that kind of you know raised some red flags along with some other stuff that that has went on in the past with caitlin but also caitlin has now kind of flip-flop on this sports issue because now caitlin is saying well i think that transgender women you know should be able to compete with biological women if they underwent surgery or the transition at a young, young age. Okay, so like, you know, four or five or whatever, 10 or before puberty. Now, this is an argument commonly used because it's kind of a rebuttal to the idea that, well, men have biological advantages that they just have for the rest of their lives. And the argument that, well, if they do it at an early enough age is a rebuttal to that because you can say, well, they did it before puberty. So it's not as much of an advantage, okay, because the person haven't hit puberty yet. But a lot of conservatives are like, hold on, hold on now. We don't really support kids transitioning surgically okay we, we don't support that so i i think that uh, caitlin flip-flopping on these issues has really caused her to be too divisive within the party i mean you got people like tommy lauren fighting with people about this issue because of what happened at cpac i think caitlin's just too divisive 
And ultimately, Caitlin didn't really have a chance of winning in the first place. So I'm happy that, you know, Larry Elder has hopped in. Somebody that I think conservatives and Republicans can kind of get behind and all agree, okay, this person might be the best person with the best name recognition to actually win. So let's read a little bit more here. The field of Republicans hoping to unseat California Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom just got a little more crowded. Los Angeles-based talk radio host Larry Elder announced Monday that he would enter the recall race with a little more than two months to go before voting uh, day, joining a crowded GOP candidate list that includes former San Diego Mayor Kevin uh, Falconer, failed 2018 uh, gubernatorial candidate John Cox, and the uh, Olympic gold medalist turned reality TV mainstay Caitlyn Jenner. Okay, so yeah, like I said, there's no <laughs> real name recognition there outside of Caitlyn Jenner. And, you know, we saw Schwarzenegger win as a Republican in California in the early 2000s, which probably indicates that in order to win as a Republican in California, you're going to need name recognition, period, right? You need some star power. People need to know who you are. That's just kind of how the state of California is with Hollywood, with the celebrity culture, all that stuff. So, again, th this is good for the GOP. I'm glad that he did this, but I, I wish he would have done it a lot earlier, to be quite honest with you. Quote, I'm running for governor because the decline of California isn't the fault of its people. Elder said in a statement, our government is what's running the Golden State. Our schools are closed to both students and their parents. Our streets aren't safe from rising violent crime or the disaster of rising homelessness. And the scandals of Sacramento aren't going to stop on their own. It's time to tell the truth. We've got a state to save, right? Uh, Elder, a frequent Fox News guest whose website dubs him as the sage from South Central, told the Associated Press he was motivated to enter the race by a fire in uh, the belly to see if he, I can do something to move the needle in the right direction. The 69-year-old elder who is black added that his presence in the race counters the Newsom uh, campaign narrative that the recall efforts is led by Trump white nationalists. Quote, do I look like a white nationalist elder? <laughs> that's, that's something that he would say, right? That's a question that naturally Larry Elder would follow up with. The recall uh, effort against Newsom launched in January 2020 gained strength due to the uh, governor's response to the coronavirus pandemic, which led to the closure of schools and businesses, even as Newsom himself was photographed violating state restrictions on indoor gatherings. The state's economy was reopened last month, but California continues to suffer from an out of control homelessness crisis, spiking crime rates and looming water and power shortages. Newsom's popularity has also suffered from a multi-billion dollar fraud scandal at the state unemployment agency. Quote, I think this is a race between Gavin Newsom and me. I don't think about the other candidates, said Elder, who will formally launch his campaign Tuesday after filing the required paperwork. Candidates have until Thursday to enter the race. In the September 14th recall election, voters will be asked to question should Newsom be removed and then who should replace him for a list of registered replacement candidates. However, the second votes only count if a majority votes yes on the first question. The Republicans believe uh, elders' presence in the race will help drive up support on the critical first question. With dozens of candidates expected, it is possible that a winner could top the field with as little as 20 or 30 percent of the vote. Awesome. So, I mean, basically, <laughs> again, it's going to come down to turnout, right? Um, how many Republicans in California are going to turn out to vote? Okay. And if the Democrats are going to be motivated to come out and vote for somebody like Newsom to keep his job or whoever other or whatever other Democrat challenges that may be challenging Newsom. But one thing we do know about Newsom is that he's desperate, right? He's so desperate um, because he even sued his own secretary of state to try to uh, get his party affiliation put by his name on the ballot. So people would know that he's a Democrat. OK, um, he's also. Uh, use federal money, aid money, to pay people's rent and basically to pay for people's votes, right? To pay for votes. So, you know, this guy is doing all kinds of things to save his job right now, right? Um, And we will end up seeing what happens, but I think it'll be interesting to see if Larry Elder is going to get the same kind of publicity from Fox News and the Republican establishment that Caitlyn Jenner has got. Because I, I think that Larry Elder is probably a better candidate right now than Caitlyn Jenner. And I would love to see the Fox News establishment give Larry Elder the spotlight that he deserves, because I think that he right now he is probably the best Republican candidate in terms of chances of winning, considering his platform and his name. So 
we'll see what happens moving forward. But I'm happy that he entered the race considering how uh, Caitlyn Jenner's campaign is essentially falling apart. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.